Hi there, my name is Emma and today we are going to be looking at a very, very common English grammar mistake. Lie or lay. Now this is a mistake that um, not only do ESL students make, but native speakers make a lot as well. Um, before I became an ESL teacher, I had a lot of problems with this specific grammar point. Um, I, I remember even searching for this online when I was like in high school. So this is something that um, native speakers should look at too. And if you ever ask a native speaker, what's the difference between these two words? I, I, I bet you a lot of the time they'll have trouble telling you. Um, and I will explain why this is so commonly confused in a moment. So to get started, let's look at the word lay. Okay, so this is a verb, to lay, and it means to put something down. Um, oftentimes we have it with the prep preposition following, on something. So for example, um, if I put the marker down on the table, I could say I lay the marker down. Okay, or I lay the marker in my hand. So it's when you put something down, oftentimes on something. So one of the problems that people have with the word lay is when, it, when they use it in the past tense or uh, present perfect, when they use it in the past participle, um, they get very, very confused. So let's go over that. So lay is the present tense. I lay the marker on the table. Laid, so laid, again it's irregular, not ed ending. This is the past tense. Yesterday, I laid the marker on the table. And finally, laid is just like the past tense for our past participle. Um, if we're using the present perfect, I could say, I have laid my marker on the table. So lay, laid, laid. And this is something you're going to have to memorize. Um, so just practice. Lay, laid, laid. Okay? So let's look at some examples to better understand the word lay. Number one. I lay my head on the pillow. So again, this means I put, what's the something? My head on the pillow. So, um, one way to remember lay is that there always has to be an object. What do I mean by that? Well, in this sentence we have the subject, I. We have the verb, lay. And after the verb, there always has to be something or someone. So in this case, my head is the something. I can call this the object. So I can't just say, I lay. Um, or I laid, um, I've laid. No, you need an object, you need something following the sentence. So I lay my head on the pillow. And again, we often use the preposition on something with lay. So number two, I have lay in the past tense. I, the simple past. I laid my books on the floor. So again, this just means I put something down. In this case, on the floor. What did I put down? I put down my books. I laid my books on the floor. So again, we have the subject, I. Laid is the verb. And like I was saying, you always need an object with lay. An object being something or someone. So in this case, the object, my books. I could say I laid the pen on the floor. I laid clothes on the floor. There always has to be something, always an object. So number three, in this case we're using the present perfect. I've laid dinner on the table, meaning there's a table and I put dinner down on the table. So um, in this case, What's the subject? I. What's the verb? Have laid. And what's the object? Dinner. So this is almost like a mathematical formula you can remember. Anytime you use lay, 
you need a verb and an object. Okay, you always need an object. So now let's look at lied and compare the two. Okay, so let's look at the word lie. So L-I-E, it means to rest or recline. And recline means kind of lay back. Um, oftentimes we recline in a, on a chair, in bed. So it, here's a picture to give you a better idea. This is a man who is resting in bed. Um, he's lying in bed. So one of the things that is very confusing with the word lie is um, in the present form, L-I-E, it has two meanings. So just like what I told you, it means to rest or recline. Another definition of lie is to not tell the truth. Um, so for example, I lie all the time. It's not true. <laughs> so that actually was just a lie. Um, but, but so it, it has two meanings. Additionally, lie gets very confusing because this is in the present tense. In the past tense, it becomes lay. So this is why English speakers confuse these all the time. Um, and you will often hear English speakers make mistakes with these. Uh, lay is the present tense that we talked about before. It's also, in this case, the past tense of the verb lie. Um, if I was talking about an untruth and not telling the truth, the past tense of that verb would be ed. So L-I-E-D. It's just a regular ed verb. Whereas lie, in this case, lay, lane, it's irregular. Um, and lane, again, is the past participle. We would use something like this with the maybe the, the present perfect. So lie, lay, lane. So repeat after me. Lie, lay, lane. This is something that just has to be memorized, unfortunately. There's no grammatical rule. It's just something you need to memorize. So let's get started to understand lie better. We won't be talking about lie meaning not telling the truth. We're going to be talking about it meaning rest and reclining. So let's look at the first example. My dog lies in front of me. It means my dog is resting. He's lying down in front of me. So my dog lies in front of me. So what do you notice about this? Do you see an object? Well, we have our subject here, my dog. We have the verb, lies. Does my dog lie something or someone? No, there's no object. This is a preposition, not an object, in front of me. So I can't say my dog lies my hand or my dog lies my painting. Um, my dog lies my feet. These do not make any sense. We can only have a subject and a verb. There cannot be an object after the verb lie. So this is the main difference between uh, lay and lie. Okay, number two. So now we're looking at lie in the past tense. So I hope you're following this because um, this is very easy to confuse. We're not looking at this lay, which means um, something different from lie, to rest or recline. So in this case, we're looking at the past tense of lie. I lay in my bed. So just like this person's doing, they're reclining or resting in their bed. I lay in my bed. Again, I, the subject, lay is the verb. Is there an object? No. And, uh, so no object. Instead, we just have the preposition in my bed. So oftentimes with lie, you lie in something or on something. So that's common, but you don't have an object following. Okay, number three. I've lain in a hammock before. Now this is something you probably will not hear too often, because like I was saying, Native speakers often confuse lane with laid. Um, so even though this is the correct one, you may not hear it too frequently. 
Um, so in this case, we have the subject, I, the verb, so pre uh, past participle, lane, I've lain. Again, we have in, in or on usually follows, a hammock. So for those of you who don't know what a hammock is, uh, during the summertime, these are very popular. There's something to sleep in, to take a nap in. So usually you have two posts and you have maybe some sort of material and you just lie on it. Sometimes you hang a hammock between two trees. So I've lain in a hammock before. So in this case, we're using the present perfect. Okay, so now let's do a comparison. Let's do some questions um, looking at both lie and lay together. Okay, so before we do some questions with lie or lay, um, I have a very important note for you in bright red so you remember. Get laid means sex. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I don't want any of you to confuse get laid with lay or lie because that could be very, very embarrassing. <laughs> so be careful with this. If you have the get in front, this means sex. Just so you're aware of that um, slang term. So let's begin. One, please, the bill on the table. Do you think it's lie, as in rest or recline, or lay, as in put something down? Please. Lay the bill on the table. So this is lay present tense, and it means to put down. And how did I know? Uh, in this case, we don't have a subject. We have our verb, lay, and we have an object, which is the bill. So the verb is followed by something. Okay, number two. You look sick. Lie down or lay down? You look sick, lie down. So this means rest or lie like flat in a reclining position. Um, how did I know this was lie down? Well, there was no object. Nothing came after it. So it has to be lie. Number three, I need to in a bed. Not get laid. I need to lie or lay. I need to... lie. So in this case, it's lie. How do I know? There's no object. I'm not saying lie something. Uh, we do have a preposition here, like I said before, but we do not have an object. I need to lie. I need to lie down. I need to lie in or on something. So it's lie. Finally, number four, the dinner was on the table. The dinner was do you think it's going to be lie or lay? And which form? The dinner was laid on the table. Okay, so this last one was a little bit difficult because we're using the passive tense. Um, so if, if you had trouble with this one, don't worry about it. Uh, for more practice, I welcome you to visit our website where we'll look at uh, all of these in both uh, easy and more difficult questions. Um, so our website, again, is www.ingvid.com. Okay, so until next time, take care.